Have you ever thought we've mapped everything in our solar system? That we know all the planets, all the major objects, and there's nothing truly new to discover? Well, think again. Astronomers have just found something strange, and they named it ammonite. No, not the fossil. This ammonite is drifting through the outer edges of our solar system. It's small, icy, practically invisible to the naked eye. But its orbit, that's what has scientists talking. Because it's not just odd, it might be evidence of something far bigger. So, what is this mysterious object? Ammonite is what's called a trans-Neptunian object, an icy body orbiting far beyond Neptune. It's been hiding in plain sight roughly 50 to 60 times farther from the Sun than Earth. That's beyond the Kuiper Belt, the region where Pluto lives. But here's the kicker. Ammonite's orbit isn't circular like most planets. It's highly elongated, stretched out into a long oval. It swoops close to the Sun, then drifts way out into deep space. Even more strange? Its orbit is tilted, misaligned with the rest of the solar system, almost like it's been disturbed. This isn't the first object with a weird orbit. Over the past decade, astronomers have found more of these icy oddballs. Sedna, 2012, VP113, and now Ammonite. And they all share something strange. They point in roughly the same direction, and they follow similar tilted paths. That's suspicious. Because in space, things don't just align like that on their own. This has led to one of the biggest theories in modern astronomy. That something massive, maybe five to ten times the mass of Earth, is hiding out there. A yet undiscovered planet. Some call it Planet Nine. And Ammonite? It might be the latest clue to finding it. Ammonite's orbit gives scientists more data to test Planet Nine models. The idea is this. If a hidden planet exists, its gravity would subtly tug on nearby objects, warping their orbits over millions of years. Each new object we discover acts like a puzzle piece. An ammonite fits. Its trajectory supports the idea that something massive and totally invisible is shaping the outskirts of our solar system. So how did we even spot ammonite? It was discovered using the Dark Energy Camera, or DE-CAM, in Chile. This massive telescope is normally used to map the expansion of the universe, but its ultra-sensitive imaging also helps us spot faint, slow-moving objects close to home. One day, researchers noticed something strange, a tiny dot moving slightly against the background stars. That movement? That was ammonite. It took months of follow-up observations to confirm its path. And once they did, they knew they'd found something rare. The team chose the name Ammonite to reflect something ancient and spiralled, like the fossilised sea creatures from Earth's history. It's a poetic name because this object also comes from deep time, a remnant from the early solar system, frozen, preserved, and now, finally seen. Here's the bigger question. If Ammonite is real, how many more are out there? How many icy bodies are following strange paths pulled by an unseen force. We're still mapping this region, still finding the edges of our own neighborhood, and every new discovery pushes that edge just a little farther. Ammonite is just the beginning. Scientists are already using its data to update simulations and orbital models. Some believe we're only a few discoveries away from finally proving or disproving the existence of Planet Nine. And with telescopes like the Vera Rubin Observatory coming online soon, we're about to get a whole lot better at finding the invisible. Maybe next time, it won't be a rock. Maybe next time, it'll be a planet. So what do you think? Is ammonite just another icy object drifting in space? Or is it something more, a cosmic breadcrumb leading us to the biggest discovery in modern astronomy? Let's talk about it in the comments. If you love these deep space mysteries, Hit subscribe, because there's always something new in the dark.